Now, as our parliamentary correspondent Shimo Gil and I just discussed, an impeachment motion against President Park Geun-hye is set to be put up for a vote in two days from now. With the clock ticking, our Lee Min Young takes a look at which factors or variables might make a difference in the final outcome. As voting on President Park Geun-hye's impeachment motion, which would determine the fate of her political life, is drawing close, all eyes are on the last-minute variables that could impact the outcome. The National Assembly is slated to vote on the impeachment motion on Friday. So far, the three opposition parties, as well as the non-pro-Park faction of the ruling Senate Party, have made clear they will vote in favor of impeaching the president. But uncertainty remains in whether the motion will be passed without friction. The biggest stumbling block will be the wrangling between the opposition bloc and the ruling party over the issue of whether to include charges against President Park regarding the 2014 Seolho ferry incident in the impeachment motion. The opposition has been arguing that the president neglected her official duty in protecting the lives of the people who were on board the ferry and thereby breached the constitution. Senator lawmakers, however, have been expressing discontent over the issue, contending that the impeachment should focus only on charges leveled by state prosecutors, and urge the opposition to take the Seoul part out of the motion. Experts say the ongoing hearing by a parliamentary committee on Korea's top business tycoons, as well as top officials, could also be an important variable in swaying the vote. The business leaders have denied altogether that there were strings attached to the money donated to the foundations in question. If they had given such money to avoid any disadvantages from not doing so, that would constitute coercion. Approving this turns out to be very difficult, which means there is a high possibility that the motion could be dismissed. The expert added that this could be a discouraging factor for lawmakers to vote in favor of the motion. The non-mainstream Senate lawmakers are expected to play a crucial role in the passage of the motion, as the opposition bloc will need at least 28 votes from ruling party lawmakers to meet the minimum requirement of 200 votes in the 300-seat assembly. Lee Min Young, Arirang News.